Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to review the SPY. As I predicted on Friday, the SPY would make an all-time brand new high today. I predicted that Friday that it would do it today before 4 o'clock Eastern time. It's done it. It's done it. So it's 123. Let's see exactly when we did it. Let's get really exact. Do, 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 do. We did it in the morning. Wow, look at that. We did it around 11 o'clock Eastern time. So let's go look. Let's go all the way back. It was May last year. Previous high in the SPY was 21378 to be exact. High today was up over that area. High today was 214.07. Next target is 215. I don't know if we'll make it there or not today. Why? This is a big move for the market today. I mean, it may not look like much, but it actually was a big move for the market. So I don't know if we'll get all the way up to 215 today. The interesting thing will be actually where we gap tomorrow. I have no idea if we gap down, neutral, or up tomorrow, but it'll be very interesting. And I will have to wait till the morning, really until the pre-market, to see the gap tomorrow to read the market. What a great call I made. I mean, what just a phenomenal call that I made reading all of this. All of this last summer, this year, all of this. And even to see Friday that I absolutely knew without a shadow of a doubt and 100% conviction and no chance of failure that we make a brand new all-time high in the SPY today on Monday. I said we could do it in the gap or the live day. We, we did it on the live day. And I got to tell you, this gap, okay, is not, I mean, we, we could have retested the area and not gotten over it. I mean, this gap is not something that I would have aggressively gone long. In fact, let's just see. I mean, th this, this is such a just tremendous sign of bullishness. I cannot tell you how bullish this market is. Yeah, see here? Aggressive long would have been out of the gate. So this is not a gap I would have gone aggressively long based on the gap reading. But the overall read of what, the, what we do today in the market is what I saw on Friday and what I've been seeing. But the gap itself today was not a gap to go aggressively long. If I had called the market long today, it would have been on a later time frame or with a wide stop. If you see here, the low of the day was set. Look at this, bounce off at 213 basically, 212.95, 10.25. In fact, let's just look at that. Look, look at that. I mean, this is, this is actually perfect, people, now that I'm saying here where we set the low. beautiful okay so bottom line is the market did what I said it would do on Friday and it also did what I said it would do for the last several months and year which was get over the high people that shorted this market it doesn't even look to me like a lot of them have covered today it doesn't even look to me like a lot of people have covered today I predicted that when once we retested that area because we've gotten so close to it the last time that once we got up here we'd go over it so that's what we did but I don't see a really a major short squeeze here in the market today. So I don't think all the people that have shorted the market have covered. Even though this is a tremendous, tremendous, phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know. I get super califragilistic, okay? <laughs> Example of power money buying up the market. That's the best thing I could say. I mean, you know, there's no way, no way I'd be short the overall SPY index here after the move that we've made in the last two days really but you know I've been calling the market long for a long time the recovery after Brexit was tremendous uh, the gap up here was beautiful the hold today happened early enough and is strong enough that it took us over the high despite the fact that it wasn't a great gap to go aggressively long we did it and I just don't see shorts really being squeezed here so I have no idea where we go the rest of the week or the rest of the month because eventually shorts will be squeezed and not only that what's gonna happen is trigger points will be hit okay which some are being hit today, but real trigger points will be hit for new levels of buying. But what's really moving the market up today in the gap, and Friday in the gap up, and the tremendous move the market had on Friday that lasted all day, and we could have made a new high Friday, I said that we just ran out of time, and the gap up today. All this combination is power money that's buying up the market, and which is, is interesting to me and is so interesting to me, and I said this to someone this morning, is that I saw back on this day the post-market action in, during the Brexit. Now let me just go back to the June 23rd. There's just so much to be learned from this. I mean, just I could talk all day long about the market, actually. Seven, I don't know, let's go back. Here, 623, this. 
This here, I watched trade live. This was after hours. I've never seen the SPY trade like that after hours. It was real buying that was coming into the market. Serious buying. Now, I know we gapped down the next morning. Once the vote failed to be what people's expectations were, the prediction of it, we've recovered since then, which I knew that we would. But, but this was real, okay? So I'm not even the least bit surprised that we've made it back up to these levels and beyond because this was actually being bought, okay? Remember, there's lots of different people in the market. Well, this is one of the things that makes it very challenging to read what the direction is of something. Where is something actually going to go? How do you know that it's going to go there? You have to have a strategy and a method to be able to predict it. If you were able to predict where something's going to go, you can take a trade in the direction it's going. I gave everyone the call on Friday. I said the market is higher and is going to make a brand new all-time high on Monday. You could have gone long the spiders or the QQQs or any strong stock and you'd be up money today in one calendar day based on my call. How am I able to make such accurate predictions over and over and over again? It is because of my method on rating gaps. And it, it makes you money because you can predict what something's going to do before it does it. It's the only way you can really consistently make money in the market. People make money based on dumb luck very often, but it doesn't give you consistent profits, let alone something that you can actually use to, to earn a living on or risk any kind of substantial money in, like $1,000 in a trade, which is still a lot of money to risk in one trade, okay? Or even 500 for many people is a lot of money. You have to have a lot of confidence in your system, which I do, which is what allows me to make the bold predictions like I did on Friday, and it was absolutely correct. So the market made a brand new all-time high today in the SPY. We will see where we go. In fact, let's just look at the cues. But it's really going to, the gap tomorrow is what's going to be able to determine where we go next. Yeah, we got to wait and see it tomorrow. So we have not made a brand new all-time high yet for the QQQs. We're, we're still away from that. See where we gap tomorrow to see where we go. I'll read the gap in the morning like I always do and figure out where we go next. So look for July though overall to be a bullish month in the market in the middle of summer. This is happening in the middle of the summer, a bullish, bullish move the market's making. So if you'd like to learn more on how I predict what a stock or the ETF is going to do, I teach a class on my method and I trade it myself and it's a 26 point rating method that predicts what stocks or ETFs are going to do before they do it so that you can take the trade to make money. So I gave this to everyone on Friday. If you took the trade, you're up. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like more information or if you want to sign up for the Golden Gap class July 16th and 17th. It's this weekend and it's an opportunity to be with me in the live room and make money because it's earning season and it starts this week actually with the start tonight. Earning season officially starts tonight with a report of AA and we'll see what kind of month we can have. Good luck everyone.